What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? We're back. We've been busy. Been busy we, pitching yeah. the show. We got a deadline article written about it, though. Check it out in the description. But we're going to be reacting right now. We got episode seven. Now, this episode was an interesting one because episode six was sort of like our main goal. So the whole question was, do we want to kind of keep yeah. shooting this? Mm -hmm. We're going to be busy with full-time jobs and everything like that. And it's like, let's do it. And we were let's like, go. yes, we, we already filmed six. Yeah. And by this point, yeah. people had fully, you know, uh, invested. There we go. By this point, people had fully invested in the series. Episode six was like, the the pinnacle of like yo yeah you thought this was a silly comedy it's not with this one it was the big we need this to go back to panic's roots yeah sort of we want it to stay drama but mm -hmm. also we want to have more of the wacky camera more of the fast paced yeah. new so. panic We wanted to start the episode with the bongos. Yep. But bongos. we didn't want it to be the same bongos. We it's always it to looking be... for new bongos. Yeah. So this was the longest you could have your facial hair at yeah. this point. I was like, I'm going to grow it out. And you're like, it doesn't matter. It won't show up on camera. And I'm like, it will. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> That's my... <laughs> I forgot that shot was in there. That, I think that was one of those examples where we had the idea for the shot. And I was like, all right, do we want to do the shot? And you were so committed. You're like we're doing the shot we have to do the shot so we shot all this at nighttime even though it was supposed to take place during the day yeah we shot this because i i had to rush after mm -hmm. work so i had to work an hour away yep. and then i had to rush back and we started shooting it at like 8 p.m so we added bird sound Brandon, man. Yeah. We, try, we tried to light it and make it sort of look like daytime. This never looks like daytime to me. I don't know if it ever tricked anyone, but this just feels like... Post it in the comments below. Does this look like daytime to you? That whole scene made me laugh my ass off shooting. That scene ben was is so, so funny. All of that was pretty much improv. And it's so hard to work with him because he always just makes you laugh oh, so Oh, yeah. Much. You just end up laughing so yeah. much. This episode was full of like lots of locations. And that was, that was a big thing because we felt like... The previous episode, the location wasn't as interesting, and we were stuck there the yeah, whole time. Yeah, so we wanted to just go from location yeah. to location. And the older episodes had a lot of fast moving, fast, like, we're always moving to different locations. So we were like, all right, this episode needs to be a lot of that. Yeah. This was actually, I was very afraid when we shot this, because I was like, how are we going to shoot outside mm -hmm. in the night? That, those are the most difficult yep. things to shoot, yep. but we had two wireless LED lights, so we didn't need to have wires, we mm -hmm. didn't need to have a generator or anything like that. We could just put them up on a stand, change the colors yeah, to make to match it, already yeah, the like, street lights to make there. it orange, and it was super easy. And I love that scene because it's tough where it's like, yo, is... Is Sam serious? We want to he... put Sam in a legitimately terrifying life situation. Well, you think about it. Sam's anxiety only comes with kind of normal situations. Yeah, this choosing was like, breakfast, yeah. being late for something. This but was this one of the like... first ones where it's like, no, I want Sam to be yeah. like actually about to die yeah. or in harm's way. Part of it also was uh, I always want Sam to be a very relatable character. Everything that happens to him is a relatable thing. But this is something that doesn't happen to exactly. everyone. And it's a legitimately terrifying situation. So it's like... All right, what Sam realistically? I think the original idea was Sam would have a panic attack. Yeah, uh, like a full blown, just a huge panic attack, and that would scare off the mugger. But we were like, that just happened last episode. We want Sam That's to sort depressing. of like outsmart him a and, little bit. And it's also Sam is depressed right now, and when you're really, really, utterly depressed, you kind of just don't care about anything. So then it was like, all right, what if he just fakes like he wants to die? Yeah, and then that ended up becoming a whole thing, in episode ten. So sometimes the pieces all sometimes they all come and together. Yeah. Come together. Every episode we shot ended up being longer than we expected. Yeah, except this one. We both thought this was gonna be like twelve minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. Yeah. and it's good. It's it's honestly. Yeah. If I could pick the tone of the actual TV show, this would be the one I yes. would choose. We wanted like this montage to be. Sam's actually doing well for a yeah. little bit. We haven't really, enough. we haven't this seen one, a good This is what happens amount. after a breakup. You're depressed and eventually you're like, I need to focus on myself. Get my grades good. Yeah. Fix my hygiene. After I had you know? the breakup, I I, yeah. I, I leveled up still. Yep. I love this because finally we just have them hanging out. We've we, never, we've had, never that. had that. Also, with shooting at this location, the restaurant, yeah. this was a very good burrito place right by my old apartment and they were closed on Sundays, and we were shooting on a Sunday, and we were like, yo, what if we just, like, kind of just shoot outside of the burrito place on Sunday when it's closed, huh? Mm -hmm. and it worked Ended out really well. Working out. Yeah. So how do we find her? We found Brenna Black. We used her just through casting, yep. just like any other actress. Casting. 
and uh, we used her, and she was actually really great she to work really with. She was really good. I don't know if she acted. She mainly just modeled, but she's super chill. Because when you're working with somebody like that who's kind of big, mm -hmm. you're always a little scared yeah. of how it's going to be, and it, it was great. We didn't want to jump into another relationship. Exactly. The show's not a relationship Exactly. Show. The show's not a relationship show. We we knew some people liked the relationship mm -hmm. of Sam and mm -hmm. Lily, so we wanted to throw another girl in there and be mm -hmm. like, yo, are they going to get together? Is Sam going to jump sort into a relationship? Thing. And it's also like this hope, this like false hope that you get. And it's like, oh, yeah. well, maybe I can move on. But it's like, no, no, you know, no. nothing happens with it. She never no. comes back. She's no. kind of just like it happens in real life. She kind of was there for a second. Mm -hmm. Now she's not. Uh, I wonder but, why yeah. she left her phone number for him. She just got broken up with like a hot jock, and she's like, "I need a little nerdy guy." I need a, I need, I need a, I need a new guy. And then yeah. when she got home, she was like, "Why did, why I, did do I do that?" Do that? <laughs> we cast her, mm -hmm. and then I used him in actually one of my other short mm -hmm. films. He played the main guy. I really love this episode because mm -hmm. it tells such a big story yeah. within eight minutes and thirty seconds. First, he's depressed. He doesn't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. He's getting mugged. He's failing school. And then he, then turns, he, cleans his, himself he up. turns his life around. He's killing it. He's now he good friends out with Daniel. With Daniel. He, and meets now he meets this girl. And now he called her, but now he doesn't think it's going to work out. He now he's dreaming his entire life. There's so much happening. This was something I was really excited about. I wanted this ending to really just mess with people. It's yeah. like, we got your hopes up, and then that happens. The big thing with, I, I basically call it the breakup trilogy, 7, 8, and 9, is that the plot of the episode isn't what it's actually about. Because it's basically about, can Sam move on from Lily? And he never talks about her or really addresses yeah. it in those three episodes until the end of episode 9. I don't think he ever mentions Lily He does not say 7. seven yeah, 7 on he, purpose. It yeah. was like, she is never going to be mentioned all that happens is she pops up at the end. Yeah. Sam is running away from facing the real problem. And, and that was that was another thing we wanted where every episode in the past had a clear thing for Sam to overcome. Yeah. Public speaking. He needs to overcome his fear of that. Party. Overcome his social anxiety. Do all of that. And Hello. You wanna be in the video? What's up, Tina? Tina? Hi. Seven doesn't start with a singular thing he has to overcome. He, well, yeah, just, it's just always depressed. Oh, depressed. And the audience was constantly wondering, when is Lily going to come back? Is she going to come back? And it's like, we want that to stick. You know, you think the show's going to be about him trying to win Lily back. And it's like, no, it's about him growing as a person, overcoming anxiety, depression, stuff like that. And when the thing in his life that caused him to change in the first place is suddenly gone in a really terrible way, how does he move on from it? He can't just get it back because that's not how it works. This was also the first episode where we really got the panic crew together. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, episode six was the first one where we used Joe, our friend Joe, as the sound operator. Mm -hmm. Episode six, half of it was shot by our friend Jax yes. as well. And he was also the AC on five. So he yeah. had already been building. Yeah. And then uh, Spencer gripped with episode six as well. Yeah. So with this one, we bring Spencer back to grip. Jax is the main cinematographer for the entire video. Joe is back doing it with the sound. Mm -hmm. So we kind of have all of our friends doing the same jobs and we all know each other. We can all verbally communicate really well and, and problem solve. So this was really the first episode yeah. that after this, the crew Stay stays the, the exact same until yeah. the finale. It, it always stays with mm -hmm. Jax as a cinematographer, Spencer's the grip and kind of AC, mm -hmm. Joe's doing sound. And this was the first episode that started yeah. that, which is cool. Yeah. Episode 8. Episode 8. This one, this one's a little controversial because... Oh, yeah. We knew that this would be different. It would be sort of a bottle episode in one location the whole time. We wanted that too. We both mm -hmm. like bottle episodes. We yeah. like when something's different. We we thought episode seven was different. It kind of mm -hmm. went back to basics. It did a lot of different things. It mm -hmm. went to a bunch of locations. Let's do something different with this one. What if we keep it in sort of one location and yeah. just kind of stay with Sam? And I had the idea of what if you got your finger stuck in the sink early on in the series, I was just coming up with a yeah, ton you know, of ideas. A while ago, yeah. And I always thought it was like, all right, that'd be like a season two or three thing. And it was like, actually, this could work as the episode eight thing. I forgot what the original plot was going to be, but we just knew that we wanted Sam to be stuck yeah. and basically trapped. And then he has to face his own thoughts and all that. And it's like, ah. we just kind of see Sam for a little bit. We wanted something where in, in the last episode, Sam was fixing his life a mm -hmm. lot and, 
and kind of on a roll. Mm -hmm. And with this one, we wanted, like, everything goes wrong for yeah. Sam, pretty much. Yeah. Everything kind of pushes him to the limit to, mm -hmm. to sort of... We knew 9 needed to be our darkest one, so eight's sort of the one that kind of pushes it to that. Yeah. I have a best friend who I hang out with all the time. I'm being mentored by my favorite teacher, Mr. Mandel. Episode 7 was, oh, Sam cleaned yeah. up his life, right? So then episode 8, we wanted it to be like... You're kind of thinking, oh, Sam's life is going to be cleaned up. Has he moved on? Yeah, but then you think it's about like, it, no, he had a bad wow. breakup. He's actually not in... Like we said in episode 7, he never mentions Lily. Yeah. So it's you obvious that he's still... can't be healthy and move yeah. on unless you face the actual he's problem. He's still... He's kind of fake moving on. You yeah. know, he's sort of just trying running to away. move on. This also had one of my favorite bloopers ever of all yes, time so from Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. whole little intro, we wanted to hide Sam's face. So you yeah. don't know. You know, it sounds like he's doing great. Yeah, look, like, he's playing games with his friend. He's yeah. being tutored by his favorite teacher. And he should be having a good time. And then you see his face and you're like, oh, no, it doesn't look like he's having he's a good time. He's pretty far from okay. This is your apartment, which is where we shot the meeting the parents scene. Yep. Right there. Yep. He we saw, just never were in the living room and we were yeah, like, oh, Yeah, he saw the dad the right the there, right yep. by the curtains. Yeah. We had to really rush filming this episode too yeah. because i moving. was moving to a different city so this was the last month i had my apartment mm -hmm. so we really had to because uh, it was fact, sam's apartment the the whose sink is that chris so your sink didn't have like a hole or my, like my sink doesn't have a, my or, sink didn't have a garbage disposal. yeah a garbage disposal and it didn't have light switches either all that yeah. is fake so every shot of the sink is actually my kitchen sink in my old apartment and the light switch is actually a light switch in my bathroom. Yeah. Everything is And then all of the, all of these shots are in, in your my kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. So the big thing was that we wanted to flesh out a lot of the past characters like uh, Daniel and Mr. Mandel who were kind of overshadowed by Lily when she was around because she was so important. It's very fair for people to not like this episode because it is a way more toned down it's sort of like what's the story at first? You're kind of wondering what is the point of this? He's stuck, okay, and you know, a Q&A, but where's Lily? And that's like the whole point is that Sam's yeah. doing all this dumb stuff yes. and getting stuck. And it's like his life is not getting better because he hasn't faced his real problem. If you're looking for Sam to get back to Lily, that you don't like this episode because yeah. this episode avoids it yeah. completely. And it throws away the girl from last episode. Yes. It's like... No. But if you're looking to have your mind open and just see yeah. what's happening with Sam, mm -hmm. I think you appreciate this episode more because yeah. it really delves into his point of view right now. And it's also just a test to like kind of see, hey, can we kind of film in one boring location with him stuck to the sink for most of the episode? And I, I think we did a pretty good job. I think we did a good job. That's not a real sound effect. Do it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We shot this. Uh, shot that during episode, in episode six. six. Yep. Yeah, this was. The, we shot pretty much all of the happy place scenes while we were shooting the happy place scene yeah. for episode six. Yep. Did I shoot that beach? Yes. I shot that beach. Scene. That was you. That you was shot me? that beach. I did. People pointed out that there's soap right there. So why did you have to the jet? Fact information for Daniel Gersinski. Call him, you stupid whore. That doesn't sound good. I love that. That, that whole sequence is like an SNL skit, basically. I love that. And it's true. If you try and say Daniel Grzynski to Siri, she'll come up with well, all I think kinds that's, of random That's things. why I, I think I was either texting you or you were texting me and I was mm -hmm. I think I was using Siri and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, we need to do something for Daniel Grzynski. Like I was saying something about panic and she like totally misspelled yeah. Grzynski and I was like, that'd be funny. Yeah. And, and that's the irony where it's like you set up things and then it ends up somehow paying off by accident. You had Daniel Gerzinski as his name just because you wanted to throw away a joke of the teacher doesn't get his name right ever. This episode was like, yo, wait, an entire funny scene can be about trying to get Siri to understand his yeah. admittedly hard to understand name and led to this whole thing. So it's like, hey, nailed that. Busy getting that punami right now, but yeah, I'll catch you later, foo. Ahoy, yeah. What does ahoy yeah mean? Is he a pirate? I don't know half the things Daniel means. I emailed mm -hmm. him and I was like, yo, can you just like record a voicemail that Daniel would say on your phone and email it to me later today? And he did. And that was what he came up with. <laughs> That's such a yeah. sad shot. He's just... The funny thing is whenever there's like shots where I'm just reacting to my voiceover, usually you're the one reading the voiceover. But very often 
the voiceover will change or you'll be saying it at a pace that then I'm say it differently in the voiceover. So a lot of times I am kind of just reacting and guessing to what I'm reacting yeah. or just imagining, all right, how would I be saying it in or, this or, time? Yeah. And this whole episode was basically A that. couple times it was just the camera was on you and I was just like, okay, look mad. Yeah. Okay, look sad now. Okay, and then it should go to this mm-hmm. different emotion, go to this different yeah. emotion. There was and, a, a yeah. couple times where I, I was like saying, just for audio's sake, we can't have him saying, all right, now look mad off camera yeah. all the time. And I was like, just roll for like five minutes. I know the script. I know how it yeah. works. And I'll just react to things. So that's how we did a lot of this episode was just filming me for five minutes going and then doing random stuff. Yeah. This was a scene that wasn't originally going to be in the episode, but we wanted the dad to come back. Yeah. And we wanted to get young Sam back because we loved working with yeah. Zach. Because we wanted both of them to sort of come back in the finale mm-hmm. in a way. And it was like, I don't know if they're, I don't know if that's going to make sense if yeah. they're only in really one episode and then come back in the finale. We need to, we need to and pop them in again. We needed something to push Sam to just accept he needs to rip his hand out. Just rip off the really painful band-aid. Yeah. And here's another scene of the dad not really being a bad dad. It's just no, yeah. another example of... It's misguided. He, he's misguided, mm-hmm. yeah. He's yeah. not necessarily a bad dad. He has, yeah. he has good intentions. Yeah, he has good intentions. He just messes up and he has zero patience. That's the big thing. Yeah. If he sees his son messing up, he just can't handle himself and gets pissed. Where have you been going to the bathroom this whole time? It's been like twenty. It's been right like twelve here, hours. Bro. He's out of sync. Maybe he's leaning real. <laughs> yeah. <high up. laughs> we shot that in reverse. We shot that in. No, yeah. we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We tried that and that didn't work. So oh, what yeah, we did we, was yeah, we yeah, had yeah. Spencer behind me, like holding me, and basically we would lower me down and, and slowly. Yeah, and we I shot you very head. slowly. Spencer yeah. was basically cradling you like that, and he would just go. And in that shot, the flinging back shot, that shot isn't sped up. That's actually how far, like how quickly I flew I think we, back. Yeah, I think we had Spencer behind you for that one too. Yeah, and, we and I think we like, shot at a lower frame rate. So that yeah. way it just looked kind of naturally faster. And we were just like, yo, just, just jump back and Spencer will catch you. Yeah. The makeup effects for this finger was done do that? by yours truly. I did it all. Yeah, we had like little gummy stuff, put it on my finger, yeah. and then I just used oh, yeah, like, we a, went like to a, a n- knife thing, cut that, had fake blood. We went to a, a little... Halloween store and yeah. we got the we got the putty, yeah. I think this was the first thing we shot the whole episode. This was the first thing we watched. Yes, we and it was raining. It was raining. We were we, we scheduled the, the whole rain. thing and then in in the day of that was the only day it rained. Mm-hmm. But I remember I was bummed. It was great because it didn't rain while we were actually shooting. Yeah. Except there was a one scene right away that we were shooting and it was raining and it was like a beautiful little mist behind mm-hmm. the characters. And I was like, oh, I hope this stays. It would look so good. And then it went away and we couldn't have yeah, that. I was yeah. bummed. This scene was also rough because neither of us had our lines memorized and it was a pretty meaty dialogue scene. So we kind of were improvising a lot of this. So editing this scene for yeah. me was so painful. I had to move all kinds of things around and take the best moments. It was... I love how Mr. Mandel wears the same shirt every scene we see him pretty much. He only has one shirt. I think that's what we wanted. Yeah. We wanted when we were always shooting Mr. Mandel. It was like he has one shirt, but he tries to compensate with different ties. Mm-hmm. So he's a but different But the ties tie always are kind of the same color. Yeah, yeah. For this scene, we wanted Sam to kind of go too yeah. far, where it's 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 one of those times where... If you, if you push someone a little too hard, yeah, like, hey, but, I want to help you, I can help you, and they're not ready to face it yet, they kind of lash but back. But it's also sort of, we wanted it to be, oh, uh, Sam, yeah, Sam's on, going Sam. too far, where it's like, yo, Sam, he's just trying to help, you, you, you need to go to therapy or something like that, which is, this is kind of what happens mm-hmm. when you bottle up your emotions, yep. And somebody's trying to help you. Sometimes you lash out. It's, we it's kind of tricky. we kind of wanted the audience to be conflicted with Sam yeah. here, but again, we also wanted the audience. This is everyone's least favorite Sam. Oh much. yeah, oh yeah. He he's he's a mess. This episode. Yeah, we wanted everyone to hate Sam the most in our ten episode arc er, here. Yeah, maybe not. Not hate, hate but like but just like, be 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 like, disappointed. Like yeah, disappointed. Disappointed. Is a good word. Yeah, I I'm disappointed in yeah. Sam right here. You know, there's all kinds of shows where it's like, oh, a character dies off and that's like the big, oh no, but it's like, we don't do that. Instead, we have characters leave. We have Sam pushing away a character or a character decides to leave him. So Lily is gone. That's a consequence that's got to stay. Essentially, she was killed off in the show. Mr. Mandel does not come back after this moment. So we we wanted deep consequences for the show. I think that's something that a lot of people kind of miss where it's like, 
you can make a show that's PG, PG-13 and still have really deep consequences yeah. that hit hard and mean yeah. something. Yeah, if a character, a character doesn't have to die for them no, to yeah. not come back. Yeah. So I understand why this is the most conflicted episode, but yeah. I think we succeeded where we were set out to, mm -hmm. to do, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I, the key things yeah. that I would change with this episode, uh, different shots, more variation of the shots that he's yeah. stuck in the location, have just kind of a better looking location so yeah. we can show off a cooler location. A so. lot of the faults with this episode just have to do with the low budget, you know? We, yeah, could, well, yeah. we couldn't get a nicer mm -hmm. location yep. to be in a bottle episode. We couldn't do all of these things that we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think for what we had budget-wise and the idea we had, I think the episode succeeds. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's that's it. We're in the midst of the breakup. Sam needs to We're in to the middle of depression up. right now. He needs to face the yeah. problem, and we will see how he does that in the final two episodes. Next that uh, are yeah. The final two episodes are probably my favorite episodes. Yeah, next, next commentary we got episode 9, which is a banger, and then 10... Which tenth is the best one. Tenth that tends the best one. That's so the one that we built from. We're the gonna game. we're gonna have a lot to talk about next oh, time. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So you you'll you know, we'll see you there. We'll see you guys there. <laughs> Remember to check out the deadline article in the description below. Leave yeah. any comments that you want us to talk about, maybe yeah, for the final episode. If you have episode, any yeah. final things that you want us to talk about with these final two episodes, with the series as a whole. Yeah, if you have any questions we haven't gone over, any how did we shoot that, leave your comment. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll try and answer all of them. Yep, and we'll see you in the final part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Bye bye.